Hi, and welcome to the first Melel video tutorial. My name is Eyal, and uh, in this video, we'll talk about auto titles. Before we start, I'd just like to mention that you can uh, try out Melel for free if you just go to www.melel.com, M E L L E L, and you can download It's a free trial version which you can. Just uh, if you purchase the code, you can make it uh, the, the full version, but the trial version is fully functional except for printing, which shows a watermark. And you can really try and see if Melody is for you. And uh, so I encourage you to, if you're looking for a word processor, uh, check out Melel. It might be very interesting for you. So this first video is about auto titles. Auto titles is a feature that helps you organize your document and create um, headings for chapters, parts, subchapters, etc. in a consistent manner. It allows you to number them automatically, uh, number the chapters, the parts, reset the numbering of chapters in each part, etc. It also gives you a way to view the entire document in an outline. And you can see the structure of the document, navigate inside this structure and uh, reorganize this as this structure in the outline. And uh, finally, it gives you a way to generate a table of contents. And if you, you, if you, you use a auto titles in a document, you get this for free. You can simply choose insert table of contents and it, it will give you a table of contents. So let's uh, start this tutorial. I'll uh, launch Melel. Now I'll open a document that I prepared before. Now this document has three parts and it, in each part it has several uh, chapters. So the first part is animals and then you have a dog chapter, panda chapter, hamster etc now yeah, another part is trees this is the second part and it has alder birch etc and then you have another part which is food cheese bread meat etc i'll make the screen the view size bigger okay so maybe it's clearer like that. Now, even though I made those uh, parts and chapters, I didn't actually make them any special. The, I'm using the same font, the same size, etc., as, as the rest of the text. So now let's make proper titles from, from these uh, uh, titles. So let's begin with the first one, animals. Now this is a part. Uh, this is a part, and uh, we say this document is organized in, it has three parts, and in each part there are several chapters. So a part is the, um, the root level of the hierarchy. So it's level one element. So I'm, I go to the insert menu, and then auto title sub menu, and then I choose level one. I'm simply assigning a level one to this text. So I'll do that. It opens a, a dialog box, which is just a way to, if I want to, to type something different, not animals, etc., I can type it, but I, I won't, so I just OK this. And Melel made this into a proper title. As you can see, there is a number. It's one in uh, Roman numerals. And it, it shows me the title that I uh, wrote before. And it has a, a, some kind of format. It shows me in a certain font and certain paragraph style. And it shows the number and then a dot and then a space and then the title. So this is uh, how a part uh, title looks. Now let's uh, look at the first chapter. This is dog. I'll select that. And again, insert, auto title. And then I choose level two because a uh, chapter is the second level of the hierarchy. So level two. Again, I'll just approve it. Now we see an, a different kind of title because the chapter is smaller than a part. 
it has a smaller font and it uses uh, Arabic numerals and not Roman numerals. Let's continue. Let's see this panda again. Insert auto title. It's it's a chapter, so I'll, I'll choose a level two. Now we can see that panda is getting the number two, so it's done automatically. This numbering hamster. Now I'll I'll do the same thing using the palette. So uh, instead of choosing insert auto title and then the level, I can use the uh, auto title palette on the right and here I have the list of levels I choose level 2 double click that okay so chapter 3 is hamster now here is trees so this is a now trees is a part so it's not level 2 it's level 1 let's choose level 1 and so on so we continue so we finished assigning auto titles to the text. Let's go over the document again. So we have first part animals and then the dog chapter. We continue panda, hamster, and then the second part. So you can see that Mel formatted the, the titles and also numbered them. Now the numbering is not just a way, not just done when you enter those things, it's completely dynamic. If I delete, uh, if I will delete the chapter, Melon will uh, renumber the other elements. For example, let's take the panda and uh, remove it. I'll select the text and remove it. I'll delete it. And as you can see, hamster became chapter two. I will undo this and again panda is two hamster is three so this is completely automatic and you don't have to worry about that Mel can do this for you okay so this is the basically the first advantage of uh, auto titles it gives you consistent titles and numbers them the second advantage is the outline and uh, to see the outline you can you click the show outline button on the toolbar click that and here is the outline as you can see I have the structure of the document animals trees food I see it from a bird's eye view so the first thing the outline gives me is just a view an outline of the document now of course if I click any element of the outline it will jump to that part I click trees I go to the trees I click food, I go to the food, I'll go back to animals, etc. So this is the second thing I can do, I can navigate. Now the, the, the third thing you can see with the outline, do with the outline, is actually organize the document. Let's say for example that I have, I want to have a, a different order of the chapters in the animal section, in the animal part. So Currently, the order is dog, panda, hamster. Let's say I want the hamster to be first. So I'll click the hamster. I'll click and drag it to the first place before dog. So I'll just do that. And as we can see, it became the first part of the animal section. Melel renumbered the uh, chapters. And that's it. Of course, I can do it for the whole thing. For example, for a whole part, if I click trees and I want it to be, let's say, the first uh, part of the document, I'll click trees and drag it to the beginning. Now I have trees. Trees is one, animals is two, food is three. So it's really, really easy to organize a document. So this is the outline. Now the third thing I want to sh I wanted to show you is table of contents. And table of contents is is really easy and very short to show. So let's let's just make a part for in the document for the table of contents and then just put it there. So I'll go to the beginning of the document and let's enter a new part, a level one element. I'll do it using the menu now. Auto title level one. Now, if I don't have a text selected, 
it, uh, Mel will uh, assign a default title, which is untitled. Let's call this part a table of contents. Okay. So this is the first part. Now choose insert table of contents. And there you have it. We have a table of contents. Okay, so this is the this concludes our uh, tutorial. I hope you learned something and enjoy it and uh, check out uh, Melel if you want uh, in www.melel.com m e l l e l and uh, hope to see you soon next time. Bye.